so so. Exercise. How's the weather looking today, Katie, for people who may want to take a mile around the complex today? Well, looking outside right now over downtown Denver. Depends on where you are in the state. A lot of sunshine here over the metro area. Some light flurries and snow showers rolled over portions of the plains overnight. That's since cleared out. Up into the mountains, you can see we can now see Long's Peak over Rocky Mountain National Park. And the snow showers have started to taper off in spots like up near Vail. But you will still find some snow-covered roadways and slick spots into the mountains. But most of the major snow Snowfall has tapered off as of right now from our radar and satellite picture. Temperatures have been very cold. We're now at least out of the teens near Greeley down through Aurora and Castle Rock. Four below zero only over Berthoud Pass. Teens and single digits into many of our mountain towns right now. So skiers and boarders, great news this weekend. We've seen some fresh powder, especially into our central and northern mountains with some pretty significant totals over the last 24 to 48 hours. But it is going to stay cold for the day. Your metro area planner by noon will be at 38 degrees. Sun will be shining. Clouds will increase later on this afternoon and evening and daytime highs slightly below average. We're expecting high 30s in Parker and Castle Rock, low 40s downtown, up through Boulder and over the northeastern plains. Teens and 20s into many of our high country towns for highs later on. Tell your eye getting to 25 degrees this afternoon. Tonight in Denver, it will be partly to mostly cloudy, dry, with overnight lows falling to the 20s by morning once again. No alerts in place for the I-25 corridor, but starting tomorrow from Aspen to Crested Butte, winter weather their advisories will take effect. Also, winter storm warnings over southwestern Colorado from Durango to Pagosa Springs will be in place until early Monday morning. And this area of low pressure will skirt across the state and it'll bring us the heaviest snow south. So here's what it looks like on our statewide future cast for later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies still dry over the eastern plains to start Sunday. Another round of snow moves into the mountains down south, especially over our San Juan, then Sangre de Cristo mountain range into portions of Summit, Picking County, up through Steamboat Springs and Rocky Mountain National Park. It'll mainly be snow showers off and on through the day. The heaviest snow will be down south. Here's early Monday morning. That's our next best chance for picking up snow here across the metro area. Moderate snow showers possible through the Monday morning commute, so it could cause some slick roadways out there. Not looking at a major storm for us, but up into the mountains, upwards of six inches possible from Winter Park to Idaho Springs the most down south from Pagosa Springs, Durango, down through Springfield with this next storm system. Looking ahead at our extended future cast, there's that low. It'll be moving east across the state, heavier snow south. Mountain flurries will linger for Monday and then a big old blast of Arctic air set to roll into Colorado, creating some cold and then also snowy conditions as we get into the middle and end of the week. So here's a look ahead at our super seven day forecast. Tomorrow highs in the upper 30s, snow in the evening, Monday cold, 33 only for a high, a little bit mild on Tuesday and then the temperatures drop as we wrap up the week.